Hello! This video is intended to help students at UW-Superior find literature criticism and other research on a chosen story or author. In this video, you will learn how to locate a book in the catalog and locate a journal article in the following two databases, Literature Criticism Online and MLA International Bibliography. First, let's start at the library's homepage, which can be found at library.uwsuper.edu. To find a physical book in the library or an ebook, the best place to search is the catalog, which contains the library's book collection, as well as results from many of our subject databases. To conduct a search in the catalog, enter the title of your selected story in this search box. Then, click the drop down menu next to Select Scope and select Books and Media UW Superior. If you select Books and Media UW System, you can request print books to be shipped to you from other libraries in the UW system for free. Finally, click the blue Search at UW button. Here on the results page, you can see that there are 27 results, which include both the story of the yellow wallpaper and literature criticism on the story that may appear as an entire book or as a book chapter. On the left-hand side, you can see there are many ways to narrow our search, including ebooks that are available online and print books that are available for checkout in the library. If I want to narrow to only print books, I can click on that option and the results page will automatically refresh. If you would like to delete a filter that you chose, you may do so by going to Active Filters and clicking on the X next to your chosen filter. We are currently viewing both books and media on this topic, so let's choose the filter of books only. From here, I recommend browsing the results by looking for commentary or critiques on your selected story. For instance, this Literary Context in Short Stories book should be helpful. If I click on the title, I can learn more about this text and access this ebook. To view the ebook, look under View Online and click the available blue link. This will take you to another database that contains the ebook. You can also discover related books by looking at this book's subjects in the Details section. If you click on one of these blue links, you will conduct a new subject search that will only show you resources that have been tagged with this exact subject. To save this book, you can email this record to yourself or send yourself this permalink, which is a permanent link that will always get you back to this book record in this database. Pro tip, in any library database, never use the URL at the top of the page to get back to the resource later. It will not work. Always look for a permalink or a stable link. Going back to our results page for books about the yellow wallpaper, to access a print book in the library, like this one, you will need to take note of the book's call number, which is the list of letters and numbers that will tell you where to find the book in the library. If you need assistance locating a book, you can ask the staff member at the front desk for help. You can also search in the catalog for an author's name, which will help you find commentary on the author's work overall and how the author's work fits into the context of the time period. You can also use the catalog to search for other resources than just books about your story, and you can do this by selecting the scope of articles and more. However, to save you time sorting through many unrelated results, I recommend using the following two databases to search for literature criticism about your stories, Literature Criticism Online and MLA International Bibliography. Let's head back to the library's homepage. From here, you can click on Databases A to Z to access our subject databases. As you can see, you have access to over 200 databases as a student at UW-Superior. To sort through these databases, you can sort them by subject, and click on English and World Literature. Or if you know the name of the database you are looking for, you can click on the appropriate letter here. Let's click L for Literature Criticism Online. Next, click the title of the database. 
This database is structured very differently than the catalog because it is focused on showing you information only on stories and authors. Start by typing in the name of an author into the search box. When you see the appropriate suggestion pop up, click that and the database will take you to a page all about the author. From here, you can read more about the author's life, view topics related to the author, and view literature criticism about the author and their works. I recommend checking out the topics listed here because they can give you ideas on what to write your paper about. If you click on a topic, it will bring you to a topic page that will show you more related topics and literature criticism on this topic. Let's go back to the author's page. If you see your chosen story listed as a topic, click it. First, let's look at the overview of this story. This page will provide a plot summary, major themes, and the critical reception of the story. You can also see related subjects on the right-hand side that you can click on to explore and get ideas for your paper. If you would like to cite this page in your paper, you can scroll to the bottom of this page to find a suggested citation. Just like with the author's page, be sure to browse the related topics and pay attention to the literature criticism. This is where you will find sources for your paper. Let's click on this title. Here you will see the article on your screen. You can enlarge the article by clicking this button and you can zoom in and out using these buttons at the top of the page. Click the escape button to exit. You can also search within the article here and have the database read this article to you here. To cite, download, or get a permalink to the article, use these buttons at the top right-hand corner of the page. Let's say you did not see your story on the author's page. You can always conduct a search in this database instead of browsing topic pages like we have been so far. To search for your story, type in the title into the search box, but do not select a suggested title. Then click on the magnifying glass. From here, you can access literature criticism about your story. To narrow your search, you can use the filters on the right-hand side of the page. You may choose to search within these results for a topic that you are interested in, or you can browse the suggested topics here. Now, let's search for articles in another database, MLA International Bibliography. Head back to the database's A to Z page, click M, and then click on MLA International Bibliography. This database contains journal articles in the humanities and literature criticism, and looks very different than the last two databases we searched in. However, it has the same core features, including search boxes, filters, and permalinks. First, let's type our selected story into the search box. Then click the drop-down menu to the right of the search box and click SK Primary Subject Work. This will make sure that you properly narrow your search to only articles that discuss your story. If you did not select this option, you would be conducting a keyword search that may give you too many unrelated results. Finally, let's click Search. On the results page, just like in the catalog, you will see options for narrowing your search with filters on the left-hand side. For instance, you can narrow to only peer-reviewed journal articles which have been carefully vetted by scholars in this field of study. Click the box next to this filter, and the results page will automatically update. If you would like to delete this filter, you may do so under Current Search by clicking the X next to your selected filter. You can also narrow your search by source type. In this database, book article means book chapter. So I recommend narrowing your search to academic journal articles and book chapters, then click update. If you click on the title of an article, you can read more about the article, view a suggested citation, and access a permalink to this article. To access the actual article, the link will always be on the left-hand side of the page. Sometimes it may appear as a PDF link, or an HTML link, but in this case, you can see a Find It button. If you click this button, you will be redirected to the catalog 
where you may be directed to another database, or most often, you will be asked to request this article for free through interlibrary loan. To do so, sign in with your UW credentials, then click Request a Copy through Interlibrary Loan. You will see a completed request form, and you will just need to click Submit Request at the bottom of the page. You will receive an email with a PDF of the article within 24 to 48 hours. Heading back to the database, you can also conduct a search for the author by selecting SA Primary Subject Author. This will show you commentary about the author's work, typically in the context of the time period in which it was written. If you are struggling to find relevant articles on your topic, try searching in the following databases, which include journal articles in the humanities, JSTOR, Academic Search Complete, and Project Muse. You can find these databases in the Databases A to Z list. If you have any questions or need assistance with your research, please contact a librarian. We are available by appointment and email at askref at uwsuper.edu.